Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Matt Adestra 777 and today we are back with something completely different than what I usually talk about on my YouTube channels. Every so often, especially in this new media of Twitch, streaming, content creation, this new platform, there is something cutting edge that not everyone knows about, especially because this is a brand new growing industry that's only really been around for maybe less than a decade, I would say. And there's a product here in my hands that I think is going to change the way that you guys do things if you are a content creator, a streamer, something like that. And first things first, I don't work for this company. They did not send this to me. I just bought it because I thought it was interesting. I thought it was cool. I saw some of the test products that were out there. And so I wanted to share my thoughts and my reactions with you as well as I've had a lot of people asking me, how do you like it? What do you think of it? Should I get it? And I wanted to talk to you today about the Elgato Stream Deck. This thing is going to change the way that you guys interact with your audience, engage with your viewers, create content, and basically streamline your content creation process. I've had this thing for a week and I already use it constantly when I'm streaming and when I'm doing my YouTube content creation. This thing is a gem and I'm going to be showing you first of all the unboxing experience, second of all how you set it up, how I use it in my streams so that you can get an idea of how to use it as well. So with that we're going to get right into it with the unboxing. The Elgato Stream Deck Live Content Creation Controller markets for about $149.95 in the United States as of right now in this making of this video. It is available to you on Amazon. I actually pre-ordered it and got it the day it was available for market. The system requirements are on the back, but basic stuff. Make sure you have Windows 10 or Windows 7 or Mac OS X. Make sure you update all your software. Let's go ahead and check out this bad boy with the unboxing. You can see that you get to interact with the product right away something I really do enjoy the fact that it is right there on the top and you can get a feel for it right away it comes with a small very simple set of instructions to use with the stream deck which will actually be going over in this video but if you want a visual guide on how to access everything this instruction book booklet does a very nice job overall in addition, it uses a USB 2.0 connection. You can see here that it is very nice, very small, a nice form factor. I did say in the instructions not to use a USB hub, but I was able to use it with the USB hub after I did the initial configuration. So make sure you plug it in directly to the computer right away first. The keys are very soft, very, very nice. I didn't have any problems making them respond, but they are soft because when you're in a streaming or content creation environment, you don't want lots of clicky keys getting in the way of your content creation. It does come with a small stand uh, from Elgato. The stand does leave a little bit of something to be desired. There's really only one setting that works, and that is by taking the stand and putting it all the way to the back. It does feel a little bit of flimsy, but to be honest with you, I have been using it for a while. Haven't had any problems with it. Just make sure you put it all the way to the back to start off with. It has those little wings there that you push there, and it's able to stand up and get a little bit more support. But I use this directly with my stream just like it sits here. Uh, very, very simple, easy to use. It doesn't really have any problems with pushing the keys, but sometimes the stand will get pushed back. You can see the Stream Deck in comparison to my MacBook Pro. You can see it's probably about just a little bit bigger than the touchpad on my MacBook Pro. But overall, a really nice experience. You can see that it lights up there with the Elgato symbol. Very nice unboxing experience overall. All right, everybody, we are here in my Twitch stream overlay. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to configure your stream deck, some of the ways that I interact with my audience using the stream deck and give you guys some ideas on ways that you can create content and enhance and streamline your content creation while interacting with viewers. So let's go ahead and pull up a display capture here. This is the second screen of what I use. It's kind of a, a little bit of a portion of my screen. You can see that my right hand is over there in my OBS. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys the Stream Deck panel right here. You can see that I've got some different things set up. It does come with a basic default setup that you can clean and you can basically wipe the slate clean or you can use that default setup if you so choose. But these are all ones that I have custom made myself. For example, if I go over to my apps, my top left hand corner, I did that at the touch of a button. We can go over and we can go ahead and open up OBS. We can go to Spotify, iTunes, Discord, or Elgato at a push of a button. It only takes one time. For example, uh, my Elgato Stream Deck preference panel is up on the top. We're going to go ahead and go to OBS. You can see that at the touch of a button, I opened it up there. 
Next, let's go ahead and go over to some of the other things I do. These are my frequently visited internet sites. These are ones that, again, I've programmed in. And this will give us a good opportunity to show you how you actually configure this. Um, I've got my Twitch stream. I've got my YouTube stream. Uh, I've got my Bungie.net link, Trials of Osiris, uh, my Destiny of Trials of Osiris report, my Destiny inventory manager, Twitter, Destiny checklist, and all those things are really easy to check in. So let's say, for example, let's let's go to a different site. Let's go ahead and program a site that maybe we want, we want to go to. Go to the right-hand side and go down over to your system. There's a whole ton of different options that you can program up here. But we're going to put in a website that we want to visit. Let's go ahead and put in that website. And let's say, for example, we want to go to IGN and say that IGN is the page that we want to go to. We can go ahead and type that in, and it will actually put it in directly on to the key itself. You can also move that text into the middle or into the top depending on what you want. All you need to do then is go and put in the website and it will take you there. Let's go ahead and put that in and I'll show you and it took me what maybe five seconds to do that. Let's go ahead and pop that open. It will take me to IGN instantly. I did that on the fly. Took me five seconds to do and boom we're right there. Very, very cool to do. At the same time, I can open up my Twitch stream, I can open up my YouTube page, I can op open up Bungie.net, all at the push of a button. I did all of those things programmed in. It's absolutely spectacular and easy to use. Let's go ahead and close Chrome and go back to our preference panel and go back to some of the other things that I like to use. Uh, for example, a lot of people in their Twitch chats like to use some repeated messages, especially if they do raffles or they do giveaways and stuff like that. If you go to the top right hand corner, there's a thing I've got called chats. And those are all things that I use in my stream often. Those are all questions and commands that I use with Nightbot. And those are easy things that you can just instantly put in. Or if there's custom messages or things like that, you can easily put those in. Let's create one right now. Let's go over to Twitch and we've got a chat message. We can either do check our viewers, we can do sub chat only or you can slow chat. If we go and put in a chat message, let's just go ahead and put in uh, a welcome greeting. And we'll just do a welcome command. Again, you've got the option to put it wherever you want. And let's say welcome to my stream. Something basic like that. Maybe something like a greeting message that you want to use for your viewers. You can easily put that and it will put you into your stream instantly. All you have to do is configure it and load into your stream when you start up your stream deck. Very, very cool. If you ever want to delete a command, say for example, I don't want to have that welcome command anymore. I just go ahead, right click it, delete. And it will say, do you want to delete this item? Go and delete it, <clears throat> no problem. Pretty simple to use. So really, really cool. Well, let's say um, maybe you want to put in a good command and you know what to do, but you don't have an icon that you like to use with it. For example, maybe some of the basic icons that they put in for, let's say like an OBS scene or an Elgato scene. Uh, let's actually go to the Elgato panel right now. Let's say maybe you want to use a different icon for this. Well, there's a couple of different options that you can use. First of all, you can go ahead and set it from a file. And what you can, I like to do is I like to look for different icons, just Google different icons that you want to use. Maybe you want to use like a folder icon of a different color. Um, what you can use is look for a transparent uh, option for a file, for a graphic file of some kind. But you can also do this. Go and select create new icon and it will take you to the key creator, which is a really good option for you to use. And it has all these different items here that you can create and you can customize. In addition, you should be able to import some different options if you wanna import something. So let's say for example, we want to use this uh, smiley face for something. We go ahead and click on that. We would then save the thumbnail. And what that will do is that will take it to your downloads folder, wherever that may be. We would go ahead and we would click this, set from file. We would look over and we would say, okay, downloads. And we would go to our newest download. And right there, we've got our smiley face. Open it on up, boom, right there. That's simple to use. So very cool, very easy to use. Um, something that you can do in very little time. I've only had this for about a week and it's very easy to configure. So with that, let's go ahead and talk about some ways that I like to use it in my stream to give you guys some different ideas. 
All right, guys, we're here in my Twitch stream overlay. You can see that I've added the Stream Deck preference page behind me so that you can easily see what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to show you some ways that I like to interact with my audience, and this is just me scratching the surface, showing you some basic things that I do in my stream every day uh, to give you an idea of what maybe you want to add to your stream. So let's go over and go to OBS 1. You can see I've got a number of different commands up here. One of the things that a lot of times, if you've got viewers that want to engage and game with you, they want to know what console you're on. So a really easy thing you can do you can see I've got an Xbox One and a PlayStation button right here. At the touch of a button, I can go ahead and put that in, and that way all my viewers know what console I am playing on at the current time. You don't have to look in chat. You can just look on the screen and be like, boom, he's playing that console. If I want to switch it, go ahead and turn it off and go to the other one. You can run both of them at the same time. If you so choose, you can use both of those. It's not really that hard to do. It doesn't take up a lot of memory or anything else like that, so you can go ahead and use that. For people who like to do raffles and stuff like that, you can put in text and stuff like that, but sometimes it doesn't look super professional. I've got some things laid out. So say, for example, if I want to do an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4 raid raffle so people can get into raids with me, I've got those different things. At the touch of a button, you can see that the green ticket icon up above went and turned on. The Xbox One raffle is open. Really easy to do. I don't have to type anything in. All I have to do is click the button. Say I want to do PlayStation 4. Boom. PlayStation 4 raffle is open. In addition, say for example, I need to go off camera for a second. I have a couple of options for that. First of all, if you look at the top right hand corner, you can see that I've got a mute command that I've put in. Also, you can see that I've got a thing that says Manocam that allows me to instantly go off camera at any time. If, for example, I need to turn off the capture card for some reason, or if I need to take that out of the stream overlay, I can really easily do that. Like a lot of times people ask me to do raid recoveries for them. Um, and just basically run raids for them, but they don't want to see those passwords or stuff on the stream, which makes sense. You can do that instead of having to turn off all these other things and take your mouse and push buttons and all these other things. You can just literally click one button and you're done. Some other fun things that we've got for the stream. I've got some funny emotes that pop up as well as say, for example, if I'm gone, I let my floating sunglasses kind of sit there and just kind of hang out, which is a lot of fun for my viewers to see. They let It lets me them know that I'm still here. I'm still Still viewing with them I'm still hanging out with them but really a cool way that you can engage with them and I again I've just barely scratched the surface I'm gonna be adding a ton more of effects and things like that but it's very easy to do with the Elgato stream deck all right, everybody, that brings us to the end of the video. I don't often do hardware tech reviews like this, but when I do, it's because I think that the product is game changing. I think it's something that's going to change the way that you make content as well as it's going to be a lot of fun to use. So if you like something in this video, a positive rating would be greatly appreciated. Hit that subscribe button for more Destiny content as well as tech reviews. If you want me to keep doing some of these hardware tech reviews, let me know in the comments section down below. In addition, if you've got questions on how to set up the stream deck how I configured and took care of a couple of problems with the stream deck if you want to know if a stream deck is right for you go ahead and leave those down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video